What is up? Welcome back. It is time for another matchup here in the IPL Season 1 Round of 16. This is the winner's round one. I'm DJ Wheat. Excited to be here tonight as we have a matchup a Protoss versus Zerg here with LG Og, our pink, our very fashionable pink Protoss spawning in the southwest position and the Zerg player, Orange Root Cats spawning in the northeast position. Thanks for joining us here for another matchup in IPL Season 1. We are on Zelnaga Caverns, and I'm curious to see what we will see out of these two players. Root Cats is traditionally a Zerg who is, um, you know, kind of... Hold on one second. Cats is actually building two overlords right now. I'm sure that cannot be... I, I, this this could be a DJ Wheat build right here. Not intentional at all. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Two. He's at 12 of 26. And um, I'm not sure that he... Uh-oh. I think... Yeah, I'm not sure that that was actually supposed to happen here as I sit in a little bit uh, of amazement, amazement here. Og is coming in and going, okay, well, there's no hatchery, so the pool must be up. He uh, goes and, and, and he doesn't see the hatchery. And he didn't see the pool, and he saw the amount of drones, and he's got to be wondering what the heck is going on right now. Meanwhile, uh, a pretty good opening considering what has just happened is we have the pylon placed all the way at the natural here for Og, and the forge going down at the ramp, which means that he will inevitably be getting this nexus here uh, for this uh, forge fast expand. Meanwhile, it does look like the hatchery has gone down, but I feel like Katz is really behind having built that second overlord of course he'll have a moment of opportunity here soon where he won't have to build an overlord but he needs that money early on for the hatchery or the pool so certainly a mistake it can happen uh to the best of us Og is still sitting here going okay I'm a I'm doing my job here. I'm a probe. Uh, where's the pool? The pool has gone down, and the gas is going down as well. So you'd kind of think that, okay, well, he didn't put that much uh, out there. Maybe he's a little bit ahead on drones. But I bet if we look at the unit counting station, you can see they're about tied here, 15 of 15. Um, and considering how long the pool will take to get up, he should be able to just uh, drone right now because it's the only option he really has. There is the Nexus. Does look like as the drone is uh, going away here, he tried to give a little bit of fight to get that Nexus down, but it won't really matter. The Photon Cannon is down, and the pool's not even done. Oh, my uh, 18. My bad. We got uh, one drone. So we are seeing cats start to uh, take the lead here in this matchup. Gas is done. It looks like one guy on it. Second guy will be added. Um, and will we have any Zerglings come out? No, he's going to be okay, which is continuing to pump drones out. Looks like Queens at both of the hatcheries. And uh, the, uh, the, that will at least allow him to either get some quick Ling production up or continue to drone up. He knows that he's a little bit behind, so I wouldn't be surprised, again, to see him drone up. Gateway, yes, Gateway finally going down. Another Photon Cannon here in the corner. So very popular wall off that we see here on Zelnaga. Uh, you obviously create a wall. It can be a little bit susceptible to Banelings, but would take a lot to get through here. Of course, the static defense is going to help out. Out a lot. Overlord over here wants to peek in, see what's going on, but uh, well, we've nope. Uh, I'm sure a Zergling is going to be coming down here eventually. Uh, if we have any out right now, no, we don't have any Zerglings out, and we do see cats pulling ahead in the drone count here. Another pylon in the back to reinforce uh, this photon cannon here. And even if Zerglings came in and tried to swoop in down here into the main it a lot of zerglings would take damage here and a uh, warp gate research now underway uh probably some more gates going to be going down soon it does look like zerglings will take out that pesky drone coming from og that has just been uh, harassing and annoying cats in the entire game more drones are coming out another queen is on the way to spread some creep speed is almost done and uh, Lings, let's see if he's going to go down here and scout this out. And what kind of vision does he have right now? You can see that he knows that the expansion is there. But that is about it. So let's actually go down here. And uh, we do have uh, another gateway going down. Ling is going to take some damage here from that cannon. And he will get taken out. Also, this overlord uh, could be taken out as well. But he made the early overlord. So it would supply block him. 
but he'll probably get another one already in production. Roach Warren going down, Lair going up, plus one weapons already. One of the other benefits of having that forge down for the Protoss. Uh, and he's going to take that gas so not only he can get that tech, and there goes the Overlord, but he can also uh, continue to pump out those units that he wants to. Has a couple of sentries out. Again, very good units to have here in this situation, even if some Lings happen to squeeze in here. Boom! Pop a force field right there. But it looks like roaches will be the primary form of attack here for cats. Uh, again, I'm going to have to agree with that decision here. He can do some range damage uh, against some of these buildings here. Uh, possibly even go after one of those cannons if you want to. But the warp gates are up. One, two, three. Eight roaches now on the way. Lair tech about ready to be introduced here out to the field. And roaches uh, look like they are going to march their way down the field. So could see... Uh, actually, he's just going to go ahead and work on that gold. So possibly Cat's just trying to pull ahead right now, realizing that what happened early on certainly put him back. And this is a build that we saw a lot of uh, as of late here, where the roaches into the burrow tunneling claws, uh, and then the speed will come into play. Um, now, typically, an opening like this, you're not going to have a robo right away. Uh, but And it, this is going to work out even better for him because Og is putting down a Twilight Council. There's the robotics facility. Uh, that will be crucial here. We do have a hallucinated Phoenix going out across the field. Get some more scouting information. It actually eluded me. Oh, did he see those roaches? I don't think he saw those roaches. Did see the creep spread going up. And so he's not going to see any army here for root cats. As you can see, he does have a fair number of roaches and will try to go forward for an attack here. Already this base going down as well. Um, here comes the Phoenix. Still wondering where all the units are. And he might actually... Uh, find these roaches. Uh, the second Phoenix did not scout him as well. So this could be a good time for an attack. Just taking a look at the unicom. Oh my god. There are a lot of sentry here and versus those roaches. This can be a pain. Now he's probably going to wait. Burrow is now finished. Tunneling Claws is right behind it. So this could be a nice little timing attack. Did the Phoenix see at that time he's going to go around the corner? What sort of damage is he going to be able to do? Force Fields coming out almost immediately. One Roach getting trapped. He'll be able to get out of there. He burrows very, very smartly. And uh, remember, these Roaches can burrow with Tunneling Claws. Do have that quick, rapid regeneration. And he'll be able to burrow out of here now. An Observer. No, there's not an Observer coming out. There's actually an Immortal on its way. Observer soon to come. Two Pylons has gone on. And that has actually stopped the Protoss from producing units right now. I think that Cats could actually do some more damage here. But... This immortal would actually wreck those roaches. We have drones being transferred over here. And it looks like Katz is not going to take too many chances that he doesn't want to. Love this burrowed zergling over here as well to block a third base. They would try to go down. The one disadvantage that you're immediately seeing to a build like this and a Sim City like this is that you can see this army is like, it's one of those really bad Japanese subway videos where everyone's trying to get in the same car and they're trying to get out at the same time. Now, while an attack's not coming, it's not gonna be that big of a deal, but uh, something he's gonna wanna think about. Let's take a look at upgrades right now. We do have a plus one attack coming, missile attack. We have groove spines going, but plus two already started and well underway for Aug right now, so he will have the advantage as far as upgrades go. That base will likely get occupied as well by Cats. He's got his gold up and running very nicely. So he does uh, have an advantage over here. If we take a look at the income tab, Spire about to complete as well. 12 Hydras on the way. Zerg is certainly shot ahead here. In income, we're about even on harvesters. And roaches are going to come in here while this third trying to get established. He did manage to take that out. The roaches are going to move in. They will get an instant cancel on this, but will they be in trouble? There is an observer there. They're not going to be able to use that burrow. Force field comes out, traps a few roaches. They're going to still take damage, but three of them do. No, two of them managed to get away. Sorry, buddy. You didn't make it. So minimal losses there. And uh, more importantly, the cancel. Delaying that third just a little bit. Also got a good idea about the army composition that Og is currently rocking. Knows that those immortals are out, but those will uh, those will certainly be handled at least a little bit better here with these Hydras. And here we go. Big battle in the middle. Oh my god. On a move command. Tries to get close to his opponent's force field. Do cut off a lot of these reinforcements with the Hydras doing a ton of damage here. Taking a look at the, some of these units falling down. The Immortals are going to continue to do a ton of damage. Oh! Hydras off creep. It's such a horrible thing to watch. 
And uh, he'll continue to spread that out, but the Observer's out as well, so he can kill those Creep Tumors if he moves up. Some Ling's coming into play. I like that. They do get stopped quite easily by the Force Fields, but they can help in taking out those Immortals if they can even get in to deal that damage. Now we've got Photon Cannons going down. It's going to make it much, much more difficult for the Zerg player to get in here. Ventral Sacks underway, plus two Missile. Uh, we do have a Robotics Bay underway as well. Let's take a look at some of uh, Og's base here. A couple more gateways going down. Uh, no uh, no research on the Twilight Council, so uh, upgrades only. No blink or anything yet. He's chrono boosting out those upgrades as quickly as he can. Already going to level three right now. We've got a lot more Hydras coming out. Much less roaches or uh, much fewer roaches, I, I guess you could say. Nine only on the field, 22 Hydras. So if the Colossus come out... Um, it could do some serious, serious damage, and we'll see if that's what's going to come next. Yes, we do have one queued up here after this next Immortal. So the Immortal is obviously not going to do as well because he switched away from some of that Roach production, but look at that. Baneling's coming into play. Uh-oh, good scout here by Augie. He does get taken down, but he sees a lot of that army. A couple of units coming up here. Um, I don't even know if those were uh, hallucinated or not, but uh, more links coming out. The Corruptors are out as well. Oh, whoa, 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 where did that, it's loading up over here, okay, so he's going to be able to drop these banelings in as well, this is very, very smart, especially when you've got a tight-knit group like this, um, also the force fields will make it very difficult for the banelings to reach their destination, so what Zerg players are discovering is that by dropping banelings, similar to what you would do versus a, uh, Terran bio army by dropping banelings on top you're going to be able to maximize the splash damage that these banelings do I mean a couple of banelings right here in the middle of all these centuries would just do an, a massive massive amount of damage so uh, right now I do feel like this is a pretty solid uh, army composition here for cats it's all going to come down to how he's actually going to play it out now he is maxed right now so he really wants to attack right now the protoss player not quite maxed the static defense will also make a huge difference you can see stalkers spread out as well he's anticipating a possible drop from those overlords it's typically what uh, is indicated there when you see a lot of overlords flying together like that and he's going to fight in the middle of his defense he doesn't let anything in the banelings where are they going to drop? He is going to start to drop them, but they are stopped by those force fields. Actually not doing a whole lot of damage there to those units. We will uh, see these Corruptors come out. They are focused fire, and look at that army just disintegrate there. That was not, not a good battle here. He's going to come back in for more. They do manage to snipe off one Immortal. Not the best fight position there for Cats. He's going to try to come around and harass the uh, mineral line here. A lot of these units, oh, that's a great position there for Cats, doing a ton of damage with those Hydras, but in comes the Colossus. Oh, they're just melting those Hydras on the ledge. He's gotta watch out, he's just giving away, he's just donating those units right now. Another Colossus does come out. They will take out another Pylon. What is on the way? 13 Roaches, Infestation Pit coming down. More Colossus on the way as well. Do not see any more Corruptors coming. It looks like Cats is going to retreat. Now, I did not like that fight. If you do look, he managed to take out quite a few of those sentries. But I feel like the Baneling Bombs would have been much more effective with the rest of his units there. I know that's a big old Captain Obvious moment right there. But if you if you go back and watch it again, you just saw him go, well, I got to do something with these overlords. He's probably not going to be able to snipe the ones with units. And uh, in all fairness, he did take out some sentries. So force field's going to be less of a problem here. But does he have corruptors at all? He does not. And he could come in here right now and just attack into this. He doesn't really have anything to deal with those Colossus. Here come two corruptors right now. He's going to have to protect those Hydras with everything that he's got. Those Colossus doing a good job right now. Blink Stalkers also taking the high ground. There's a couple of mortals in and out of the fight. It looks like enough corruptors are going to be able to come in and reinforce this. Stalker numbers are quickly dwindling, and we will see the Colossus go down, so those Hydras will be able to maximize their damage with some really solid deep Yes, the gold base is not out. Now we want to see some. Uh, we want to see some corruption on those corruptors. Oh no! The worst thing ever. 
as a Colossus marches out into battle. Look at this. We have an Overlord loaded up with a few Baneling. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. There are a couple of Photon Cannons there. Is he going to be able to get him out? Oh, I, oh, he got two out. He got a, you know, he got like a couple pros. Meanwhile, another fight here at the third. More Roaches coming out. More Hydras on the way. Roaches are coming. Oh, great corruption here on all these units. It will again keep that damage up. Nice blink out of danger. But I think with enough of these Photon Cannons down, he's going to be able to come in, take that out quickly, possibly even finish this army off, take out this third. And I think that Katz will have brought this back in his favor, despite the fact that he really did have, uh, well, hold on here, some good blink action coming in. More OVs coming in, but they're just a distraction. They're totally fake. They're not bringing anything at all. And that distracts Og just enough to have to retreat back into his natural. More units coming down here. And whether those overlords were intentional or not, Og says GG, and he will lose game one. First game going to Root Cats, despite the fact everyone's gonna start the double overlord now. They're gonna be like, oh my gosh, best build ever, double overlord at the beginning, go oh geez. And uh, then finish it off. Huge macro play there coming out by Cats. Great creep spread here. And uh, first game does go to Cats.